I'm with um, Mark Allen Cash, the nephew of Johnny Cash. We're talking about this really wonderful documentary. It's called Long Road Home, The Cash Family's Untold Story. It's going to be uploaded to my locals this weekend, and you're going to be able to see it either by streaming directly or joining my channel. You'll be able to watch the movie. You won't regret it. It's something to plan for the weekend. By the way, if you want to check out my locals, just go to dinesh.locals.com. There will be a specific link to the movie, but I'll, I'm going to get it today. I'll be posting it all over the weekend. So you're going to look for it, please. Um, Mark Allen, um, great to have you. And, you know, this is a movie that... Initially, I didn't really know where it was going to go, but where it goes is kind of into a deep and dark place. It goes into the depths of depression, alcoholism, addiction, not just in the Cash family, but also in the other people who were around Johnny Cash, and he was part of it. And, and here's my question. You're a musician. You were on the road uh, with your dad, and then you were on the road on your own, and... Um, you, you've been in, in, you know, you've been in the lonely hotel rooms in town after town after town. And my question is, is that where the kind of addiction gets started? That, that this is a very dislocated life, perhaps? And is this why so many kind of musicians and guys who do the tour fall into this path? Or do you think there's some other reason for it? No, I, it, it, that's very insightful, uh, the insight that you have there. Um, it is, uh, you know, it's it's difficult to you know and Elvis faced the same thing. You you're around all these people that absolutely adore you and they would do anything for you. Then you find yourself alone, and you you can't really um, for them not much for me as much for me. But they couldn't just take a walk. They couldn't just go out and get a bar of ice cream and come back to the hotel room because people would mob them and even hurt them, not meaning to but trying to get to them or trying to get a piece of clothing from them um, or an autograph. And so you find yourself surrounded by loneliness. And that's a hard, hard thing uh, to do to, to separate the two and to come back to yourself, as Uncle Johnny said. So you, you might take a drink or a drug to, to ease the pain or to fill the hole in your chest. When the wind blows through that hole, it really hurts. There's a big hole in your chest that you're trying to fill. And so you find that a drug or a drink fills that hole. However, it's only temporary. And that's not, that's not what you, do. you you don't realize that it's a temporary fix. So then it, the hole gets bigger and you take more to try to close that hole. And as time goes by, you realize, hey, I'm fully addicted to whatever this is. Um, you didn't mean for it to happen. You didn't see it coming. And before you know it, your life is consumed with drugs and alcohol of one or the other. And uh, then come the problems, uh, being late, not showing up, uh, uh, mistreating people around you. Uh, and, and just it grows from there into this horrible uh, sea of, um, of despair, you know. I mean, you have uh, Johnny Cash's grandson in the documentary. He talks about being incarcerated multiple times. And uh, your aunt said something, I think, very striking about you, that, that you had reached such a low point that at one point you were almost buried in snow with your with your hands sticking out and the somebody saw you. I don't know if it was the police or the rescue workers who saw you. I mean, so it looks like, I mean, you're a man who has come, you could almost say, face to face with death. Yes, I have um, many times. And even to the point to where I was ready to take my own life, um, I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't take the uh, the loneliness and the despair. And and you know, it's so. Uh, that's why I'm so happy about this film. You know, if we if we help one person, one person get help, as my sister says in the film, who filmed this with us for three days, flew home and died uh, from sources of the liver. Um, Paula got sick and, and, and died quickly. Um, and you talk about being brokenhearted. I miss my baby sister every day. Um, but, you know, she says in the film, if you or someone you know has a problem with alcohol or drugs, please seek help because your opportunities will cease. And it stops right there and shows her date of birth and death because it killed her. And, uh, uh, you know, so, yes, to answer your question, many times, I put myself in a, situ a situation where I could have been easily uh, killed or died, 
like the snowstorm they got caught in. The police told everybody in that town not to go anywhere that night. Well, after several drinks, I decided to walk down to another hotel. I fell into a drainage ditch. I couldn't get out. The snow was piling on top of me. And every time I moved my arm or my body, it got worse. That snow just came down and impacted me more. A woman saw me fall from her window. If she hadn't have been watching out her window, I would have died because the police, she called the police 911 and said, I saw this guy fall in front and he can't get out of there. And they, about 17 police officers jerked me out of that hole and rushed me to the hospital. I couldn't feel my right hand for over 90 days. Um, I came very close to death. And so, you know, it, this is a very serious, serious, serious issue. And I thank God for him and you for helping us get this out. Um, because this doesn't, and, and uh, a critic said, you know, this is not the Cash family, some members that didn't make it in the music business, they're trying to get a name for themselves. It's not that at all. That all falls by the wayside. This is a, a documentary that I hope will help one person call a, a treatment center or call a family member and say, hey, I'm ready for help. You know, I don't want to die. I don't want I don't want to be like Paula. I don't want to be like Mark or anybody. And, and I want to get help. If we can do, save one person, we've saved their life. I'm grateful. I want to ask uh, you a favor, and that is to see if you'll, you'll, you'll play a little bit of the theme song of this movie, which is your song, and it's, it's wonderful. But before you do that, I have one more question for you. In the beginning yes, of the sir. film, we're, we're in the Johnny Cash family home, and we're introduced to the sort of, well, let's call it the people at the top of the, of the family tree, which is to say Johnny Cash's parents. And it seems like they were very straight-laced, very religious, very down-to-earth and practical and and my question to you is, I heard you say somewhere in the film that 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 a higher power and faith helped you find your way home. And my question is, do you think it was a little bit of the of the faith that came down from uh, from Johnny Cash's parents that you were exposed to? You might have kind of pulled away from, but ultimately that's what helped show you the long road home. Absolutely. And, you know, my grandmother set me down in 1983 she said mark i want to talk to you and she sat me down my dad had gone to the bank for her and she described today's world in 1983 she said you're going to see these things you're going to see all these things and it scared me to death you know and dad got back from the bank and i, I went behind her and i said dad you know she's and, and he said no when we got in the car i told him what she had relayed to me and he said mark it's all in the bible it's all in the Bible. She knows what she's talking about. She was so strong spiritually. And there's no doubt in my mind where they are today. And that she did. She passed that down. And she always said to me, you know, as long as you put God first, everything's going to be okay. You know? And she did. That spiritual foundation from her and, and Papa Cash was passed on to, of course, my dad and, and the rest of the Cash family members, but then on to us. And my my dad and my mom have always been spiritual and and um i thank god i have and uh, so the spiritual foundation was laid early in our lives and uh thank goodness it did wow this is uh this is remarkable and and that it's a remarkable documentary long road home the cash family's untold story let's close out mark allen if i may um prevail on you just for just to give us a a little hint of the uh of, of your song long road home that is the the theme song for this documentary absolutely thank you so much it's been a long road home it's been a long road home it's been a long road home back to you It's been a hard few years Running from my fears Trying to find a way Back to you Thank you, Mark Allen Cash, for joining us. I really appreciate it. My honor. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs>